Mr. President, special item, politicized debates, biased resolutions, preposterous reports, discriminatory conduct, and unfounded accusations characterize the attitude of the Human Rights Council towards Israel. Although the Council is mandated to be unbiased, transparent, and non-politicized, its seven special sessions, 66 resolutions, a special rapporteur with an infinite mandate, and an agenda item all targeting Israel clearly prove otherwise. We believe that instead of trampling in the political swamp like it does for so long with regard to Israel, it is crucial that the Human Rights Council will finally focus on its mandate to protect human rights. As the High Commissioner for Human Rights has recently said, our world today is suffering from so many atrocities, terrible humanitarian crises, increased xenophobia, racism and prejudice, greater than any we have experienced since the end of World War II. The international community and the UN are facing an unending list of desperate calls for urgent assistance at the situation in Syria. Entering the, its sixth year continues to be devastating as so many people around the world are facing crimes that shock the conscience of humanity like extermination, murder, enslavement, torture, rape, and starvation. Mr. President, a revision of the resources allocated to deal with the biased item seven will definitely allow the Human Rights Council to better address the real and urgent concerns that the international community should deal with. Israel is a strong democracy in the Middle East region. While facing many security challenges, it is fully committed to the respect of all human rights, including those of its own citizens. Israel will continue to cooperate with those who really care for human rights and will continue to firmly object any attempt for their political abuse. Thank you, Mr. President.